think climbing for me and most of my friends is it's about the movement over the rock. So that, that single thing of actually moving and flowing over the rock is the thing that we kind of love about it really. It's like being in control but in what seems like an out of control situation. So it's not really an adrenaline sport. I think if you let the adrenaline get the better of you, it might affect how you climb. So you've got to try and be cool in not very cool places. That's a good challenge really for me. That's uh, the thing that you try and control the most, I think. When you get to the top of a, a climb, it's exhilarating in that you've done it, but also you need to, with rock climbing anyway, as opposed to mountaineering, you want to get back down and do another route. So the thing you do in between getting to the top is, the, is almost more important than getting to the top. When you've done something particularly harrowing, it's a, it's a good feeling. Not in a life or death way, but just a, just great really. Occasionally you fall, but a lot of the routes are fairly well protected unless you uh, you push in your grades and then you then you get into the realms of taking big falls. I've hurt myself more in climbing walls really, just falling down and dislocating ankles and things. It's not really a hobby, it's more of a way of life. It's, uh, it's great, there's no rules, you can do what you like and it's, it's good fun.